All right, so I'm here at Baseline Park, and today we're going to give back to the trail system. I don't uh, take any glory or credit. I don't work with anybody. I just do it by myself when I see something that needs rectifying. But anyway, this is the Florida Trail, and imagine coming through that, and then it opens up <laughs> into this. So, I mean, when I first got here, I didn't know what the heck was going on. You know, when I came out, you know, let's just turn this around. When it came out right here, and uh, I was like, well, okay, where is the trail going? I guess it goes right through down here, and uh, we're going to get into that. Um, so, but uh, as, we, as we go, here, let me switch the camera around. Get my finger in the picture here. Whoop. There we go. So we're going to wind down this way and then it goes off in this direction, which is really bizarre. And uh, it took me a long time to figure out where the heck the trail is going. And unfortunately, that could be one of the best portions of the trail. So let's, uh, let's wait till we get down there. We'll get some more video. Okay, I wanted to get this. Uh, now the Marshall Swamp, which we've done a couple of times, you know, of course, that's, you know, you go up there, make that right and then head on down and, and that you can follow the trail through the uh, through the park where it's got a paved trail either way you want to do it now I have yet to make it to the Santos trailhead now of course I've driven there and I've hit it on the other side but uh, anyway let's uh, just kind of so the trail kind of moves on this way and I, I remember when I was first trying to figure out where it was going I'm like well where did the trail go you know and uh, well, yeah, I guess, you know, now I kind of see these things. There's a little orange marker right there that shows I'm on the trail. So, uh, and there's there's one on the uh, thing over there. So they, they kind of got it marked. It's like, uh, I feel like a lot of times it's like, where's Waldo, you know? <laughs> You're just kind of following along. All right, so I'll get some. Hey, by the way, I got the uh, the weed eater out finally. I My wife thinks I'm out of my mind. I bought it specifically to work on the Florida Trail. I have no need for a weed eater back home because we have a yard service and she's like, you, you're going to pay all that money for a weed eater just so you can work on trails? And I said, well, yeah, uh, you know, I like to give back a little bit here and there. All right, we'll get some more video here in a minute. Okay, so now uh, you can see the little orange marker there on the post and uh, when you're looking back, but when you're going this way, you know, I finally, there's that, that sign right there, so that was how I knew that the trail went this way. But I did want to just point out something incredibly stupid. I mean, they cut all this grass. For what reason? I've never seen anybody in there picnicking or doing anything, and I've been here three years. Why cut that grass? You know, and you see this in a lot of cities. They'll just go into the parks and they just cut it. And they, I guess it's just to give them guys a job, man. But all that fuel... Just let it grow in naturally. This should be a forest in my in my mind. And once we get on the other side over here, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But this is the weed eater. See, it's never been used. I bought it specifically to uh, work on the trail. And uh, so today we're gonna get a get a good good job with it. You know, it's the battery uh, ego. By the way, I got their blower too, man. I tell you what, that blower's great. So uh, I just want to show you how I'm outfitted. I got the hat because. Uh, you know, here in Florida, the uh, sun, it will, oh, that's a, <laughs> you want to talk stupidity. Oh, my God. See how the hat comes down in the back? That's necessary because in the Marine Corps, all we would issue, were issued was those stupid little baseball caps. And uh, when you're out in the desert, on this back in the 80s, now maybe it's changed by now, you know, the back of my neck would just get, just beat red, man, because, you know, there's, there's no way to protect it because you you camos only come up to here and then you got the hat on of course you're young and stupid and you don't realize you know how dumb you're being by not having something to cover your neck i guess i could have thrown a bandana underneath the hat and uh but anyway that's just you know why doesn't the, the maybe the military is now maybe they've gotten a bit smarter and issue hats like this all right so let's get going um i'll be uh just weed eating along the way and then I'm going to take a speed video when I get to the area that I really want to show you that's in bad shape. All right. Oops. All right. So what I did was I just tried to cut a little little uh, section here, just kind of leading, because it, 
you know, if somebody wants to hike the trail, you know, this will be a good sign of where you got to go. And uh, it does keep all that dew off my feet. It is early here. But look at all that damn grass they're cutting for no damn reason. <laughs> Reminds me of them Dominion uh, software counting machines, you know. I haven't been a programmer and a cybersecurity guy and an administrator of computers. Who the hell couldn't pre-program them things? Why in the hell do we got computers counting the vote anyway? That should always have been a, and remained a manual process. I don't know what brainchild. 50, what is it, 32 states? Man, we got a hell of a lot of stupid people in this country, and they seem to be in the positions of authority. I can tell you that right now. But uh, anyway, so this is uh, this is what I was talking about. So you come into here. Now, do you see a trail? <laughs> I don't see a trail. And actually, this is the best portion of the trail. You know, I don't know why this gets, gets neglected like this. Now, you wouldn't even know that this was the trail unless you saw that sign right there. But, uh, so that's what we're going to work on. I'm going to make a speed video. Let's get going. laps but uh see now you can see a trail you got it going back this way and then it comes up and i'm just going to show you where we're going to hit next and this is where it doesn't make any sense as to why you know they won't uh make an improvement here because all you got to do is get a grader in here and you could make you know with some probably bring in some mulch wouldn't take that much work and uh the trail see it goes right down this alley now i picked up all that trash not too long ago and uh, you can kind of see, I mean, who in the heck's going to know that that's the trail? Now, they do have the markings right there on the pole. I'm just seeing that for the first time. So anyway, so we're going to, I'm going to go down here with the weed eater. Uh, just kind of knock it down a little bit just to make it easy. And then I'm going to show you why uh, it's just a shame that uh, they don't take care of this portion of the trail. Because they spent a ton, a ton of money, taxpayer money, to engineer the trail. So that, see this road? This is a main road. And you don't have to cross that road on the trail. They actually put a bridge right down here. And we're going to get in there soon and I'll show you what that looks like. All right. See now, a city worker, or, you know, it wouldn't take, I mean, what it, I'm, I'm, I may, I don't know how long I've been here. Maybe a little less than an hour, maybe a little more. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to reach, I'm going to trim that coming down. And then see the trail right there is the marker. It goes right underneath this bridge. And so why in the world does this bridge here except to support the Florida Trail so that people don't have to cross that street up there, which is great. I mean, but look at all the money they spent to put this bridge in. And then you let the trail look like that. I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But anyway, let's, because uh, once we get through here, I got, got a lot of weed eating to do on the other side. So let's get going here. So I didn't show it. So, you know, we came underneath this bridge that they put in for the trail. And, you know, look at all this garbage laying around. But, uh, I mean, it, look, I, I'm, I'm going to be here less than three hours to do all of this. And I don't understand why they can't. Uh, this, I already cut all this. I just, just did it. And, you know, you couldn't even hardly walk through here. You know, but now, you know, it looks it looks like a trail, doesn't it? I mean, somewhat. But, uh, so, uh, anyway, we're going to get up to another area 
that I'll show you before I cut it this time. And uh, it's it's a bit different. They they cut it out different this year. Um, maybe it was cut out last year. They just didn't take care of it. I don't know. But uh, I'll show you that when we get there. This is this is the look at what it looks like. So what I did is I went off to the right because we when it rains, that's just a muddy mess right down in there. So you got to be able to walk up on that right hand side. So I made sure I cut all that back. All right, let's keep going. Now this is why I got lost on this trail. You see this little orange mark here? How long is that gonna last in the dirt? So they did come through and try to mark it, but how silly is that? Put up a doggone sign. It says Florida Trail this way, like the sign that I showed you before, and put up one right here so that people know where they're going. So now this, this is the next project right here. Now they took a mower up through here, and what I'm guessing is there's a big old hubcap. Or I shouldn't say hubcap, there's a tire rim right in there and I bet that lawnmower hit that damn tire rim and just tore it all to pieces so I'm gonna move out that tire rim I'll show it to you when I get there and uh, just cut that in and normally and I don't know why they're even cutting that out because you can just hike right up here and get on that sidewalk so I would just take the trail this way and just let all that grow in but anyway it is kind of kind of nice to, to cut up through here I suppose and it won't take me that long so let's get going See, I mean, this is cool they did it, but why? I mean, all you had to do was bring the trail right up to the path here and then walk down that sidewalk. Of course, I mean, you're right next to the traffic, so it's kind of cool having her over here, but look at this. See, the guy that, that like I said, this trail wasn't here last year. They just, they must, the guy just, just came through here. <coughs> I bet he tore them blades all to pieces, man. He hit that right there and then left it. So if they do come back in here and cut it again, <laughs> they're just going to hit that again. Now I'm going to move that out of the way. So, and I've, I've made it this far, but then the, the, this will cut right up to the road. And then I'll show you some, some really cool stuff uh, where once again, they haven't cut and it doesn't make any sense. All right. So let's keep going. See now people can hike that, you know, before... You know, if there's any ticks or chiggers or stuff and hanging out on that grass when it comes up above your shoes, you know, it's kind of nasty. So, you know, and I cut it in real good right here so you can kind of see it comes right into the sidewalk. So we're going to go down here and I'm going to show you another crazy thing. They spent a ton of money again and, and, and to not take care of it. It doesn't make sense. Hold on, let's get going. All right, so we came down that sidewalk. <clears throat> that and I mean, this is incredible. They built this tunnel right underneath the, uh, the road here. There's the Florida Trail sign right down there. Now look at this. Now, if you're going to spend all that money to build that huge bridge just so that you got a little tunnel for people to walk through, why wouldn't you put like some stairs and make it look nice, you know, coming up here so that people see it and go, oh boy, that's a beautiful little trail. Look at that. I mean, you can't even hike through there. Look at all those weeds. So I'm going to cut all that down. At least you can go go down this hill and, uh, and then get that. So let's get going. All right. So now it looks like a trail. There's, well, there's lots of markers, I swear. The <laughs> first time I found all this, I couldn't find any of them. But uh, maybe these are new. I don't know. But uh, anyway, there's one little marker right there on that bridge. And uh, I would do it well, and of course, having the pole down there. But now that looks like a trail, doesn't it? I just cut that through. It took a lot more than I thought it would. That grass is tough to cut through with a weed eater. But uh, yeah, someday they'll bring a mower through there and, and then that'll be the easy way. But for now, now people can hike it. Uh, I'm gonna get on the other side and I'll show you the beginning of the trail and uh, give you my final thoughts for this video. So we're at the beginning of the trail on the other side. This really gets beautiful back in here. That's kind of what you see in Florida. It's weird, man. There's a mattress there, some more trash, and then back up in here, there's a there's a lounge chair in the woods. I mean, I don't I don't know what maybe people. I, it just doesn't make sense. Somebody had to drag it back in there, you know, and why? But I was just going to show you. So uh, you know, now this is uh, if they would just put in you know some stairs or. Uh, mulch that make it look nice people people probably hike this but i rarely see i don't think i honestly i've never seen anybody on this section of the trail um but this is the way i'm going to go back see this just takes us back up to the road and then you got to cross the road and then cross the road again and 
that'll put me back at the car but I, I don't want to hike that weed eater all the way back around through everything but let's go a ways up in here on the trail and just give you my uh my thoughts on on life a little bit it was uh, you know i'm out here doing volunteer work uh you know, just by myself i don't get any credit for it nobody even knows i do it but uh, i do hike these trails quite a bit so i want to give a little bit back uh, like i said my wife thinks i'm crazy <laughs> but but i did want to you know say something about that you know before i went up to virginia to help my mom you know you gotta always get your own house in order first before you try to help others or try to do something like i'm doing here and work on this trail so you know when i knew i was going to virginia you know i started back in june uh you know well first they you know, the finances after the crash in march uh you know i had to get our retirement money safe uh mostly into uh gold and silver and platinum etfs just didn't want to risk it now the market's at all-time highs so yeah i missed out on a lot of money there but uh, we did all right with the with the precious metals so and it's safe i know that for sure if something happens and we get a crash i do think we got an economic crisis coming uh, just too many people unemployed too too many blows and now if they actually do the well the democratic states are going to do the lockdowns hey that's another thing uh if if you're a yankee stay up where you are and stay locked down don't move to florida because uh, we're we're still living our lives normally here and and uh you know leaving people to their own common sense which is the way it should be uh you know like like me you know i'm out here you think i'm going to get coronavirus or i need to wear a mask when <laughs> when it's just little old me out here in the woods you know what's a virus gonna drift through the air and grab me or something i mean that's yeah, just ridiculous but uh, you can see the trail gets real pretty through here um i'm gonna hike this section and do another video but uh we'll stop right here because the got to get back to the car I'm, I'm hungry man and i'm thirsty but uh it's past noon at this point so i did work about two but i thought three hours but anyway on up here it opens up into a field and there's a ballpark huge huge ballpark i don't even know how many fields in there and that was that was the eerie thing when the virus hit i was hiking through here they, they and that was the other silly thing even in florida they put uh they put a little tape down here and said oh don't hike don't hike and uh so i just went underneath the, the, the tape and catch me if you can you i know you ain't never gonna see a ranger back in here and the trail uh it dives back out at the after the ball field or kind of along the ball field dives back into the woods a real pretty section and then it goes up by the dump we have a dump over here then it kind of winds into uh, all kinds of different scenery you kind of go from pine trees to uh oak trees and then finally it gets to uh, a road and uh, I got I got that written down somewhere. But I don't have to write it down again. And uh, and then I tried to hike the section on the other side of that road, but it was in such bad shape. Uh, and that was before I could get out here and do some maintenance. So uh, maybe I'll take a look at that because that's a section I haven't hiked yet. And uh, but I, I do want to show you this because this is a, this is a hidden secret. See, um, you know, I showed you the the park over here. There'll be there'll be a, you know 100, 200, 300 people at that park. And nobody, nobody comes over here to hike this trail because I guess, you know, either, well, probably they just don't know what's here. And uh, it's a shame because this is the, this is a better hike than the hike through the park that everybody hikes. You know, I was telling you that Florida Trail winds through the baseline park. So anyway, just wanted to give you my, my philosophy on charity and, and uh, helping people, you know, help yourself first, make sure your life is squared away then you can go out and help other people and do some volunteer work like I just did uh, working on this trail and uh, you know it's because I use it so much I got to give something back you know if you play tennis go up and uh, pick the water bottles up well, that's the thing the kids today they just throw all them water bottles around on the courts but you can go in there and pick them up do a little volunteer I know kind of pisses you off that they just have so little regard sometimes but uh, alrighty that's it for today can't wait to see the video. See, this is why uh, it was important to allow people to, you know, go underneath these roads. I mean, this is, you can kind of see past me here, you know. By the way, they got these buttons here that are supposed to allow you to cross. <laughs> I punch them both and I swear I have never seen the sign say cross now. I always just cross when there's no more cars, but this is the intersection. By the way, the, uh, the trail is right down there. 
and uh, there's your first crossing down here and then the second crossings down there so uh, and then of course the park is just right over here and that's what I was saying you know if they knew that the trail was this close you know they could really come out here and enjoy it so talk to you later